Hello and welcome to a very snowy spring day here in Buffalo. We kind of jumped the gun last week when we thought that it would actually be spring weather here. And thankfully, I think that this is kind of the last snowstorm that's gonna come through our area this spring. Hopefully, we got some pretty ambitious road trips coming up. And uh, before we do that, there are some things that we actually want to update. But today, I think we're gonna stick with the updates inside the van since it's uh, pretty chilly out here today. We're still waiting on a few things, so there's more to come for van updates and updates upgrades and stuff like that, but we yeah. have our work cut out for us today, so we're going to get to it. First on the list that we're going to tackle is our lights. No, we did not go buy the thing that can actually fix them to make them stay automatic. That honestly seemed way too high tech for <laughs> of a fix for us to be able to tackle. Instead, we bought a label maker. We definitely know that this is purely in the realm of being a gripe <laughs> as opposed to an actual issue with the van. So we figured just something that will help us remember to look over at the light switch, make sure the lights are turned off before we call it a night would be something that we could definitely find value in. So that's what we're going to start with today. This is going to take a little longer than I thought I was going to. I spelled this wrong. You what? <laughs> How did you spell I it, wrong? it wrong? What did you spell? <laughs> I spelled turn wrong. I forgot the R. T what did you put? T U N. <laughs> Take two. Just for this ton. Here you go. Your time to stick it. Oh, I'm gonna do this? Yeah, you get the honors. Oh, okay. What do you think, right there? It's not really a problem, and it's more of something that was annoying because we just weren't thinking of it, and I don't expect this to wholly fix the problem, but at least it's a reminder and something else that we can kind of have to jog our memory before we climb in the back and leave the lights running all night. So with that, I think that kind of wraps up the stuff that we're doing up on this side of the van, so now we're gonna climb into the back. We've gotten a couple comments about our smoke detector and where our fire extinguisher is located in the van. We're going to actually move the smoke detector from the floor of the van up higher, and we're also going to finally mount the fire extinguisher off of the bench so it's easily accessible. I don't have a bit in here. don't necessarily want to leave this this way so before we move from here we actually just got a little pocket to attach here we figured we'd just put something to have maybe we can put cell phones in there or stuff when we're sleeping just something to cover up that space so it's not a glaring hole okay tell me when when does that look level close enough there now they're hidden cool I have no idea what we're gonna put in there yet, but figured it would cover up the ice war until we figure out something better. Next is re- Mounting that. Mounting this, yes. You ready? <laughs> See, we learned our lesson with pilot holes. <laughs> okay. So that's Two down. Since we already have the back doors open, I think that's what we're gonna jump to next. We're gonna try to rework our organization in the back door because we found that we hang a lot of things off of it while we're traveling and want to try to optimize that space a little bit better. So we bought a shoe organizer. The shoe organizer is actually gonna sit on this door and it's not going to be for shoes. We usually only bring like two pair and we try and shove those under the driver and passenger seat. This is more going to be a place that we can actually just store stuff because this is mostly just hanging things and we feel like we're missing out on some storage capability over here. Hooks are fantastic, but we've hung so many things off of them and we were kept finding ourselves wishing we had more pockets of sorts or little nooks and crannies that we could tuck things into rather than hanging. So we are going to reuse those hooks in different parts of our van because I stand by the fact that you want as many hooks in your van build as possible. But we're going to test out this shoe organizer idea. We figured that we'd give it a try and see if that's also going to work for us. We're definitely going to have to modify this to make it work, but I think we're going to get more value out of something like this where we have a lot of pockets that we can put things in than just being able to hang a couple of things off these hooks. Do we want to just cut along one of the lines? That's what I was thinking. Underneath this hook is probably a good start space. I think that'll be good. Don't let the sun deceive you, it is still freezing out. <laughs> That's Whoa, a like, smiley weird. face. <laughs> the good news is you can kind of almost just like rub it off. 
Yeah, it's noticeable, but definitely not as bad as if, if it didn't have the carpet. Now we need to cut the carpet to fit here. We have the slip that comes out with our shelf, so we need to make sure that the line where the one organizer part ends and the other one starts kind of is sandwiched around this. So that way when we close the door, if there's stuff in the pouches, it's not gonna bump up against this. So we just need to be mindful of that as we're cutting it. You got it? Yeah. Okay, you can open it. So it needs to be from here. All of this is wood behind it from where we put up a panel to be able to hang things off of, but this strip is metal and then this strip is metal and we don't have any metal screws. And because we don't have any metal screws, we have to go to the hardware store to get them to be able to hang it up because we wanna make sure that it's not gonna go anywhere once we start putting things in it. So off to the hardware store. This one? Okay. A quick trip to Lowe's later, we have some self-drilling metal screws and I uh, think this is gonna do the trick of putting that shoe rack up, so get to work, Mike. All right. There we go. One screw in. Okay. 50 more to go. I'm actually super excited about this because look at how much extra storage we get now. Whole door full of storage. There's actually plenty of space through here. I mean, we're probably not going to overload this one specifically, but plenty of space for these to get filled up. Yeah, I am very excited with how that turned out. I know that it doesn't look as nice as like having the full door, but honestly, storage is key, especially in a small van like this. So that's going to make all the world a difference. Home likes tightening up the screws in the door. What I'm going to work on next is our curtains. We actually really like the patterns of these curtains, but if you can see the light coming through they are not blackout curtains so we're gonna switch to blackout curtains even though we really like the design because it's gonna just be a lot more functional and hopefully it'll warm in here on cold days like this when we are sleeping so nothing special another walmart purchase it says 100 blackout let's see if that's actually true we just went with the basic beige color so hopefully these do the trick now we actually have gotten a couple questions about how we've attached our curtain to the ceiling so i'll show you that now this is the ceiling here's our light and then right before you get to the shelf where there's a bunch of random stuff in there so please ignore that we attached one of these hooks i think they were literally like a dollar from the hardware store and then we just bought a plain wooden dowel also from the hardware store that we stained to try to match the rest of the wood in our van as much as possible these little caps came off of a metal rod that we had up here but it kept get bending and actually snapped in half so we found that this wooden rod works better in holding up the curtains while we're in the van so i'm going to take down these curtains and hang up the new ones I'll have to hem the bottom, but definitely a lot less light already peeking through. So I'm very excited to give these a try the next time that we're sleeping in here. Do you like the curtains? They're awesome. That's really cool. Good job. So the next upgrade that we have is actually something pretty simple. It's just a trash can. Now this one we found at the automotive store, which we thought was neat because it actually compresses down. So when we do have a lot of trash and a need to store it, we'll be able to bust this out and store it there. But we're actually just gonna store it in our cabinet for now and use it whenever we need it until we find a more permanent spot for it. But uh, this is our trash can idea. I know that it seems really simple, but we're actually really happy to have a trash can in here now. And I think the last thing that we really wanted to accomplish here while we were working on our interior van upgrade Grades is mounting our fire hose or what do you call it fire fire extinguisher Ma is mounting <laughs> our fire extinguisher with that we actually did plan to do a lot more <laughs> working and upgrading our van this weekend but the weather just is not cooperating so thankfully i think next weekend is supposed to be a lot nicer where we'll be able to tackle some of the bigger upgrades that we wanted to do i still feel very accomplished in some of the little minor upgrades that we've done along the way here today but i'm very excited for next week while we kind of dive into it and do a little bit more I mean, I don't see why this wouldn't, you know? Like, it's in here secure. This is all anchored in. I'd actually cut this piece of wood because I had the thought of mounting the fire extinguisher off of this, and then we would kind of affix this to the bench. But in getting the shoe organizer out, Heather had the idea that this actually might be sort of a natural fit for it in here. So, I mean, it's in here securely. It's still pretty easy to get to. I mean, we can always decide which one of these works best, but this actually would be a better access point than where we thought we could have it. So if you look, I mean, that 
works pretty well. I don't think that's a bad spot at all. And that's also gonna go in like kind of this cubby area where we can't really fit in here and we're not gonna be able to access to you very easily when we're sitting inside the van. And we're gonna want that and a door that we could open in case there is a fire in here that we could open up the door, grab it and spray inside. So it's not bad to have it on the door, but anywhere else that we were thinking about putting it would unfortunately be in the way. And this is kind of tucked into one of the ones that we're not really gonna be able to use and still have a holder. So I think this will work. I don't see any reasons why. I'm sure that somebody will probably put it in the comment if it's not going to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if there's a safety issue with it, we would of course move it. But if we were putting it off of the bench, when we were sleeping, the extension would be covering it up anyway. So that would be even more difficult to get to than if it was down here in one of the pockets. For the time being, this actually is going to be a better solution than any of the other ones we've thought of. So I'm happy to run with this. <laughs> Plus it's really cold. So like redoing our whole bed build to be able to fit that in a spot where we can open a door and be able to grab it pretty easily, isn't not sounding like the most appealing thing to do right now. So maybe we'll revisit this idea when it's a little bit warmer, but for now I'm completely happy with that decision. And it saves us from freezing our butts off for another hour while we would have had to rework this whole bench. But I actually really do like it there. That concludes the work that we were doing today. Most of the things that we were working on are sort of quality of life updates or upgrades. They're not really big projects. We have a couple of things that we'll get into that are a little bit more labor intensive hopefully next week if things warm up and if a couple of the parts that we've ordered come in. So we have some big plans and exciting upgrades for Appa. Really happy with what we got done today, especially considering today was 25 degrees, super cold, our hands are frozen. I think it was as good as it could have been. Definitely more of a lax upgrade day, but I'm still very happy with everything that we did accomplish. I know that some of these, like the trash can and the cartons might not seem like the biggest thing, but when you're living out of here for weeks at a time, it really does make that much of a difference I'm very excited to have blackout curtains now as well as a trash can and a place to store it and Honestly, I can't say it enough. I'm very excited about that shoe organizer because when the bed is out, we can't really access the cabinet very well. So a lot of the things that we want to quick grab instead of having to push the bed back in and open this up, we can now just have handy off of there. So I'm very excited. And I'm very happy that we're now going to have one more thing to help us remember to turn off the lights and <laughs> maybe have to use our noco boost at least a few times less because we've burned the battery out i'm very pleased with all of the stuff we got done today next week we're going to hopefully fingers crossed be able to continue working we're hoping that it's not going to be as cold as it was today but even if it is i'm sure we'll figure something out i think it's going to be really cool to dive back into doing some actual work on appa and we hope to see you with that one so thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time